my name is Nicole Adelson and I am a mom. I am an actor and I own my own construction company. <laughs> So going flying for the first time, I am overwhelmed with so many emotions, super nervous, excited, curious about all the different elements. Being in a small airplane, it's so different than a big, you know, commercial airline and it's all new to me and the unknown is like a mystery and scary. <laughs> One of the points comes across your shoulders, and then one point for each side of the waist. Hey, hey. So to get in, it's kind of like a small airplane experience. People do it different ways. I've gotten in the back seat before by just putting my left foot up here and then putting my butt in. Okay. Some people are jungle monkeys, and they're flexible, oh, yeah. and you can just... Hey. Okay. It's a super lightweight so that I can fly in the back of the Clear prop. Thousand temperature, one six Celsius. Dew point, three. Altimeter, three. Zero, zero, six. Remarks. Density altitude, five thousand seven hundred. <laughs> All right, South Valley, Black and Silver Super Cab. We're going to taxi over to, uh, looks like the winds are slightly favored 1-6. We're going to go to 1-6 today. Do a nice gentle takeoff. Thank you. And then what I'll do is I'll ask you if you're okay. I'll get, you know, a few feet off the ground, and then I'll ask you if you want to do a high-performance takeoff where I'll pull it up steeper. Sweet. You don't have to say yes. I might. No I probably pressure. will. Okay. But if you're feeling okay, we could do that. If not, then we'll just do a normal, gentle takeoff. Here we go, ready? Yeah. Okay. All righty, how you feeling? You doing all right? Yeah, I'm okay. First take off in a small airplane? Yeah. You wanna? We're good, go. You go wanna go it. up? Yeah. All right, here we go. So that is a, what we call a steeper takeoff, if you want to do that. Okay, yeah, that's exciting. Put the point. South Valley traffic, black and silver super cubs, right crosswind, runway in one six, departing off the right crosswind leg to the west. There's a few bumps, there they are. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> I think the air and the sky has a personality a little bit. And you can tell when it's grumpy. When it's really hot, you're just bouncing around in an airplane. Yeah. But in the morning, it's like, oh, it's stretching out. <laughs> Get used to the day. And then at night, it gets calm again. Yeah. And it's getting ready for bed. <laughs> so these, this is the, have you ever been up to the copper mine? They actually have a little visitor center that fell into the mine a couple years ago. I don't know if you heard about that. Yeah, so my uncle drives those big. Uh, trucks. Oh really? Wow, that's cool. Wow, this is awesome. So what we'll do is we'll we'll kind of go around here just because I'm I'm on an altitude restriction. I can't go any higher because of the jet arrivals into the Salt Lake International Airport. I see. So what I'll do is in another mile I could climb a little higher. Then we'll go a little higher. Then we'll go right over the open copper mine. So awesome. All right, so we'll we'll climb up and go into the copper mine. Exciting. 
It is. I love it. I mean, I mean, does it get better than this? This is phenomenal. I mean, look at this. This is phenomenal. Wow. Those trucks are huge. I mean, it is as deep down to the bottom of this as the valley is. I mean, you basically have cut a huge hole into a mountain. Moved all the dirt that way. <laughs> and it's literally thousands of feet down there. It's crazy. So I wonder how long it takes to get all the way down there driving. Oh, well, it looks like there's a pretty big road that kind of cuts down. Oh, oh. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. There's a lot of traffic going down there. I, I bet you it takes a little time. They probably don't go very fast down into there, you know? But those are like trucks. It look like... They're huge, too. Have you ever sat next to one? I'm sure you did because your dad worked for them. But well, my uncle. But your he, uncle. Yeah, like the tires are the size of a SUV. Yeah, that's crazy. South Valley traffic, arrow 29199. Nice morning to do a Bingham Copper Mine tour. That's phenomenal. We'll have like a gauge that tells you how high you are. Yeah, it's right here. No, yeah, I do. It's an altimeter. <laughs> <It's like, shut laughs> but 500 feet, it's you basically learn to gauge it. Like right now, my altimeter says that I'm 8,700 feet or 7,700 feet in the air. However, that ground is not, we're not 8,000 feet above that. No. So I'm just kind of estimating that we're about 1,000 feet off the ground there. I also have a feature on my GPS that'll tell me how high I am above the ground. But that doesn't tell you how high you are above structures. And so I like to pad it a little bit because you can build a power line that's a, a you know 200 feet high. And so I'll pad it a little bit just to make sure that I'm, I'm good to go. All right, so the first one we'll do is basically a steep turn. Okay. And that's all it is. It's basically uh, to designed to show you what your G's feel like, and it's basically only two times your body weight. Now, there's roller coasters at Lagoon that'll exceed two G's by far, but for some reason in an airplane, it feels more, which is kind of fun. And you can hold the G a lot longer. Okay. Ready? Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so I'm going to bank the airplane over. Oh, God. It's not that bad. Okay. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay, okay. and then we start banking, and so you feel the G's coming in? Yeah. Okay. That is awesome. And so that's two times oh. your body weight right there. Wow. <laughs> and then when you're done with the maneuver, you just roll out. Okay. How you feeling? You feel all right? Yeah, that was awesome. Okay. So that's two times your body weight. Wow. Well, I'm not that heavy. <laughs> well, like if you were 100 pounds, it feels like you're 200, right? Yeah. So another maneuver that I'll, I usually do is what you call a stall. And most people think, well, wait a minute, don't turn off the motor. That's not what a stall is. What a stall is is you fly so slow that the wind moving past the wing is not sufficient enough to maintain lift. So I'll have to reduce the throttle. You just keep reducing the throttle. You, you notice the slowing down, slowing down. And then at some point, the airplane's going to stop flying and just the nose will drop. And then it's like going down a hill, you'll pick up speed again, right? Almost there. There it is. There's the drop. <laughs> Okay, so it's a little, <laughs> it's a little dramatic, <laughs> but no big deal. I mean, that's a stall. So basically, as soon, it's pretty quick, right? So as soon as the wind is done, as soon as the plane's done flying, the nose will come down, and then you pick up speed because then you're going downhill again, right? All right, so we've been flying a little while, so we'll head back to the airport now. It's 8 o'clock, so we've been up in the air almost an hour. Wow. It doesn't feel like it. Yeah. So to land an airplane, it's super simple. I actually think flying an airplane is actually pretty dang easy. I mean, I mean, I don't, I'm not even flying it right now. It's just doing its own thing. You basically just give it instructions and it follows it like a car. Right. I like to fly the air, the airport pattern. They call it. 
within gliding distance to land. So, like, if I lose an engine in the airport area, I can glide right to the runway, no big deal. And so, that's just kind of how I like to do it. Well, we're on the ground. That's not too bad. South Valley traffic, our trade 750 Echo, exiting southwest. South Valley. All right. We're done. How did you do? I, um, I loved it. Thank you. My pleasure. Well, thanks for coming on a Fly With Me Friday. <laughs> I love giving rides in my airplane. It's one of my favorite things to do. That was so fun. Good. Like, we went over Kennecott, which was phenomenal. Like, the best view ever of Kennecott. Like, it was awesome. Woohoo! I love flying. Okay. All right, we're back here with Nicole. We're at your home. You got the sound of jets flying overhead. Yes. <laughs> so it's been a few weeks since you went flying. Final thoughts? Um, I lived, which is amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a bonus. Um, I learned a lot of information that I was curious about and how I could possibly get grants and, um, you know, go down the path of getting my own license and plane and all that. So I'm super excited. So it sounds like, you know, because I remember we were talking to you before we went flying and it didn't really sound like you were considering becoming a pilot. You maybe thought, oh, it's something that other people do. But now that you've gone flying, has that changed? Yeah, it's super obtainable. And I think a lot of people don't think it is. I think they categorize it as something that is so costly. Mm -hmm. And I think in reality, it can be very affordable and um, manageable. Very so, cool. And um, what stood out the most was flying over Kennecott. That was amazing um, to see the depth and you know how that is working and functioning and um, that was awesome. Flying all over the area and it was fun. It was, it, it did change my um, thoughts on a lot of things, but yeah, I, I think at the end of the day, I'll always be scared of heights. Yeah, but. yeah. Now I know you have a family. Have you talked about aviation or flying with your family at all? I know your husband and you have a couple of kids. Have you <laughs> talked to them about, listen to that jet. Yeah, we're gonna away. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's showing up. <laughs> you can see that? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Oh, airplane noise. Wow. It's like red light. You can drive right on um, 193 as they take off. It's, it's so cool. Oh, it's super like, cool. Okay, so the, the, the Joint Strike Fighters. The Joint Strike Fighters moved to Hill Air Force Base. And so now instead of F-16s, which we don't have F-16s no, anymore, we have the, the Lightning here, which is, they're even louder. How does that work? They, they sound they, louder. I don't know. Two engines for as well. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no. just like it's one, one big yeah. engine. Yeah. It's just monstrous. This awesome. one's 16. So check out Hale Air Force Base. Tell your friends. Yes. Going back to um, your flight experience, have you had a chance to talk to your family about it and share your experience with your family? What was their reaction? They were super excited and mm -hmm. the possibility of in the future being able to fly our own plane and do that. Very cool. What does your husband think about the potential of you becoming a pilot? I mean, he supports whatever I do, so. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. Yeah. So he's on board. Yeah. Well, we will touch base with you every now and then, and, and uh, hopefully you'll have a wonderful aviation journey. Thanks for flying with me on Friday. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. This is Nicole, and thank you for watching. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you enjoyed it, if you want to see more. And if you want to take it to the next level, share it with your friends. Flying is cool. Super cool. <laughs>